you're ready for this. Introduction. The clavicle is the long, slightly S-shaped bone that lies horizontally on the anterior aspect of the junction between the root of the neck and the trunk. Articulation. The clavicle articulates medially with the sternum and first rib cartilage and laterally with the acromion process of the scapula. What are the functions of the clavicle? It connects the upper limb to the trunk and enables it free movement. It transmits forces from the upper limb to the axial skeleton and it provides an area for attachment of muscles. <laughs> The clavicle has two ends and one shaft. The sternal end, also known as the medial end, is enlarged and quadrilateral in shape. It articulates with the clavicular notch of the manubrium sterni to form the sternoclavicular joint. There are involvements of the fibrous capsule, articular disc, and interclavicular ligament. The acromial end, also called the lateral end, is flat with the involvement of a chromioclavicular ligament and the fibrous capsule. The acromial end articulates with the acromion process of the scapular to form the acromioclavicular joint. Coracochromial and coracoclavicular ligaments also help in the stability of this joint. The shaft is curved. It is divided into medial two-third that is convex forward and a lateral one-third that is concave forward. The medial two-third has for surfaces the superior, anterior, posterior, and inferior surfaces. The lateral one-third, on the other hand, has two surfaces, the superior and inferior surfaces. The features of the clavicle include conoid tubercle, trapezoid lie, Groove for subclavius muscle, tuberosity for coracoclavicular ligament, and the impression for coracoclavicular ligament. These features makes it possible for muscles and ligaments to attach to the clavicle. Next, we will be talking about are the attachments of the clavicle. The muscular attachments of the clavicle include the deltoid muscle, the trapezius and the subclavius muscles and the clavicular head of pectoralis major the clavicular head of the sternocleidomastid muscle is attached to the medial end of the clavicle the clavipectoral fascia lies deep to the pectoralis muscles The lateral part of the clavicle forms the anterior boundary of cervicococcillary canal and it is related to the trunk of brachial plexus and the third part of subclavian artery. Fracture of the clavicle The clavicle is the most commonly fractured bone in the body. It commonly fractures at the junction of its lateral one-third and medial tooth third due to blows to the shoulder or indirect forces usually as a result of strong impact on the hand or shoulder congenital anomalies clavicular dysostosis it is a clinical condition in which medial and lateral parts of clavicle remain separate due to nonunion of the primary centers of ossification clidocranial dysostosis it is a clinical condition characterized by partial or complete absence of clavicle. Watch out for similar anatomy videos on other topics in this channel. Do subscribe to get updated each time we release our videos. Thank you 